Uh, here's the deal. As much as I'm eager to do the solar, uh, I'm going to cut a 78 a 78 inch board, and then meet me inside. eager about this build here and in some ways it is about the top everything from that solar the wires will come in here they'll go down all the solar unit will be will be here basically under the pull-out couch when I affix this to the floor I will have determined exactly where the fancy engineered floor will go. Right. The yeah. shower determined that side. The kick plate under here determines that part. But I've, I've never had anything on this side to tell me exactly where the floor is. The base, the two by fours, which will work around and incorporate the gas hump or the wheel hub. Yeah. Those need to be covered. They, they need to be covered. That's a different story. But the base, I'm gonna make the base. So I'm gonna angle all of this out. I'm gonna put on some snappy music and let's see if we can get the job done. money on that that plywood was 24 inches ac across 24 yeah right. i'm done for the day oh the vlog continues it's just that i'm done for the day welcome back to another edition of different day same vlog i went to the hardware store this morning and i priced out some lumber holy smokes Have you seen the price of plywood? Let's go up on the roof. All right, so here's what I painted and prepared last week. See the thickness? Look at this one. These will actually go here. I have the back one in place. This groove means that much is being cut off. explain something but that space right there is where all the electrical will go down so underneath the couch that pulls out into a full-size bed will be the electric components for the solar what I just showed you on the top that's why everything needs to come about right here really as close to the corner as I can get this is another reason why I haven't finished this strip along with the cabinetry. And if you want to know the truth, I don't know what it's gonna be. I thought, well, I'll figure it out as I go. I bought this in June. I know I didn't work on it September, October, November, December. But last June, I would have laughed at you and said, well, you, you're probably gonna finish it next June. Next June, M March is in a couple days. <laughs> Hello, 
I went to the hardware store this morning because I wanted the I wanted the rubber pieces that this sets on. Just a little bit of shock absorber because glass is going to be installed. But they didn't have all the pieces. In fact, they had four. So I can't attach these right now. Oh, there's plenty to do. So because I don't have all the materials for the roof, we're going back to the couch pullout bed. Brad Nailer nail gun. One of my favorite tools. That's the floor. That's the floor. That's the pathway. I've never really known what it is till now. So I'm gonna bring out the inverter to get an idea. It's maybe 85 or 90 pounds. I'll put the actual weight right there. Some people attach these to the wall, to the side, sideways, up and down. Mine's laying flat. Oh, okay. Whew. All right, so there are zero options. Unless I put good music, background music, me, me thinking doesn't make a good vlog. Um, God. So, it here is the most perfect place. A two by four of thickness. The height of the couch that I'm looking at is... I'm not ruling that out. May I have a moment to discuss the situation? I should tell you, this video is not ending. Until solar panels are on top of the roof, I didn't say hooked up. Here's what we're looking at. So, bolt. The fender, which will keep it from going through. Shock absorber, since uh, I'm putting glass on the roof, followed up by locking uh, nut, and then secured finally with this. I have solar panels. I have solar panels. Oh, they're not connected. No. There is so much configuration and problem solving that's supposed to happen. But I had one goal at the beginning of this vlog, and that was I'm going to wait for the roof to dry out. I'm going to drill a hole, but that's all part of next week's vlog. Pew, pew.